Good morning, everybody. It's Serge Bogosian on Monday, June the 4th, uh, the Hockey Guru. Just wanted to make a quick little video, uh, a preview of tonight's game. Uh, news just came out that the uh, Golden Knights are going to be making a lineup change. Um, Thomas Tatar will be coming in the lineup and it's speculated, not confirmed 100%, however speculated, uh, looking at the practice lines today, that David Perron would be coming out of the lineup. Now, if you recall, in game three, David Perron's line along with James Neal, the whole line was a minus nine. They have not been doing well defensively and offensively, and it looks like it's time for a change. Thomas Tatar will be coming in. Now, I've talked about Bizarre World. This is, again, not a knock against the Golden Knights. However, your number one, not your number one, but your highest paid player, <clears throat> your highest paid player, Thomas Tatar, right behind Flurry, who's your goalie, but your highest paid forward, or your highest paid skater, um, the player that you paid the most for, giving up assets wise, Thomas Tatar, you gave up a first round pick next year, a second round pick and a third round pick, and you got a player, Thomas Tatar, for $5.3 million cap hit for three years, and he has not been able to make the lineup. Now, if you're the Vegas Golden Knights, that is a luxury to have. You spent all this money, you spent all these assets to get this player, and uh, you're not using him. However, things haven't gone that great in the last couple of games, and it looks like Thomas Tatar is coming in. So this is the bizarre world that I talk about, all right? Okay? In one other sport, in one other, in even in one other, what other hockey team, very rarely, these sort of things happen with veterans at the tail end of their careers maybe, but um, this is a 27-year-old, 27 year old star from the Detroit Red Wings that they spent a lot to get. Three first round picks they spent. Uh, uh, sorry, three draft picks, including a first round pick they spent. They've committed to him um, $5.3 million with a no trade clause that kicks in next year for three years. All right, so $5.3 million is the highest paid skater on your team. So this is the bizarre world we live in. He can't make your lineup. He can't make your lineup full of players that other teams gave away. This is why the Vegas Golden Knights are so successful. And this is why they are having a phenomenal year. Again, I'm not knocking them because of this Tatar move. It is a great thing. By the way, Tatar sounds like tartar. And I love some tartar sauce on my fish, right? Anyways, segue. Segue a little joke. Fish is good. Tartar sauce is good. Thomas Tatar is a great player. But... He can't make your lineup because you are running phenomenally. You are playing a phenomenal, fast-paced, team-oriented game that um, has worked to this point, except the last two games, the results did not go your way. So this is why we're bringing Tatar back in the lineup. Game four tonight, Washington Capitals are hosting um, the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, there's some rumor of um, something about Fallout Boy. Again, when we start talking more about the pregame ceremony rather than the game, this is where it steps into the hokey situation. A lot of Vegas fans thought I was attacking the Knights because of their uh, pregame show that lasts three hours. Sarcastically, three hours, but lasts a long time. But the Capitals looks like they're also following suit, trying to one up the the Vegas Golden Knights. You're not gonna you're not gonna one up Vegas because Vegas is the show capital of the world. So, however, follow up, boy. If that's something you like, tune in. You know, it's like uh, it's like the NFL. The NFL sells itself. Um, you don't have to love football to watch the Super Bowl. There's a lot of people that hate football that watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. This is how the media has blown up in the United States, which is a good thing. But you can't. You don't have to watch the Super Bowl. You can watch the commercials and the halftime show. People tune in just to the halftime show. Is this where we're headed in the NHL? The NFL gets $7.2 billion in ad revenue for its teams. Is it a bad thing? I don't think it is. In the, in the grand scheme of things, if we're making more money for the, for the sport that we love, is it a bad thing? No. $7.2 billion the NFL is getting. The NHL gets a very small percentage of that. Um, it used to be a lot worse back in 15, 20 years ago. The NHL is doing a lot better. But you're not going to do anywhere nearly what the NFL is doing. So little bit of a preview for tonight. Game four, it's going to be huge. If Vegas wins, they get the advantage again. 
right? They get the momentum. They get home advantage back. If Washington wins, it's not looking pretty for the Vegas Golden Knights. So, big game tonight. Make sure you follow the game. Make sure you come to me tomorrow where I will give you the synopsis of what happened and something's big is going to happen and I'm going to talk about it. Be it Fallout Boy, be it Ovechkin, be it Flurry, be it Marcheseau, and how about a story if Thomas Tatar comes in and scores a hat trick to lead the Golden Knights? I don't think it's going to happen. However, my prediction is the Washington Capitals are going to win tonight. They're going to win it 4-3. to three. Um, And I'll be back tomorrow. Because you know why I'll be back tomorrow? I am the hockey guru. I'm Serge Bogosian, and this is Monday morning. We're looking forward to Game 4. See you tomorrow. Enjoy the game.